A new era in dirt moving has been born. It is an era of progress spurred on by the public demand for more convenience, more comfort, more speed, more safety in the pursuit of their daily occupations. With the increase in motor car speeds and the increasing number of such vehicles on the highways, roads had to be built to new standards. Right of ways needed widening. Entire mountains were removed to reduce grades and curves were broadened and straightened. Air travel has shown a tremendous increase, requiring the construction of larger and better airports to handle this increased traffic. Rural electrification, irrigation, and increased power demands have resulted in the construction of huge dams, reservoirs, and canals involving undreamed of quantities of earth moving. Throughout the country, earth is on the move. The problems involved are many, but modern engineering and alert, smart earth movers have joined hands to solve their problems through new machines and newer methods. Outstanding among the newer methods of handling larger volumes of dirt is the tractor scraper method. Fast traveling tractors and suitable cable or hydraulic scrapers have been used extensively for the past five years. Large volumes of dirt are scooped up, hauled away, dumped and spread where desired with equipment of this type. The construction of one of the many fine Illinois highways is being handled by this method. Here, HD 14 two-cycle diesel tractors are pulling 15-yard garwood scrapers in tough loading clay. The tractors operate in low gear while loading and shift into high for hauling. Traveling at seven miles per hour shortens the time from cut to fill and makes longer hauls profitable. On this job, the haul varied from 700 feet to a maximum of 1,800 feet one way, and both hauls were handled profitably by the contractor. Dirt is dumped on the run and spread into about six inch lifts on the fill with no time lost for turning or maneuvering. However, even the capacity of this equipment is increased through pusher operation, which makes much longer hauling distances practical and profitable. Here, a 20-yard garwood scraper is being loaded by two HD-14 tractors. The advantage of this method lies in the fact that a tractor can haul a larger scraper than it can load by itself. So, it becomes more profitable to use as big a scraper as the tractor can haul, then use an extra tractor to help load. Tractors have also undergone radical changes. On a scraper job, 80% of the time is consumed in hauling, dumping, and turning, which make higher travel speeds more desirable. The speeds on this HD-14 range up to seven miles per hour. Powered by a two-cycle diesel engine, this powerful tractor dumps its load clean and fast without stopping to shift to a lower gear. Speed and power on the fill saves valuable time and cuts operating costs considerably below the underpowered machines. The use of a pusher tractor cuts loading time and distance, enables larger scrapers to be employed, decreases wear and tear on equipment, cuts maintenance costs, and reduces the equipment investment. So today, we see most jobs handled with scrapers and more and more turning to the pusher method as the most economical means of handling large-scale, long-haul jobs such as this Iowa road job, where a fleet of HD-14s and Garwood hydraulic scrapers are rolling out a profitable volume of yardage in extremely tough going. Here, pusher loading enabled 12-yard scrapers to be converted into 20-yard outfits with no increase in loading time or distance. With plenty of sure-footed diesel power fore and aft, the dirt boils up into a heaping load which makes even long hauls pay. The extra yardage hauled soon pays for the slight additional investment. Once the scraper is loaded, the operator shifts into high and gives her the gun as the 20 yard load rolls to the fill at seven miles per hour. Dirt really piles up on the fill in a hurry when these modern outfits take over. Easy handling, clean, fast dumping, Garwood scoops make excellent teammates for these high-powered, fast-stepping diesel tractors. Here on this West Coast dam construction project, the contractor organization employs nine of their fleet of HD-14 tractors
to pull 28-yard cable scrapers under the most adverse conditions possible. The fine powdery dust, almost knee-deep, was a severe test for men and machinery, as well as the earth-moving methods employed. And once again, the pusher-scraper method proved its ability to handle a difficult problem. Modern tractors contributed their share to keep the job rolling along smoothly and efficiently in spite of all obstacles. Besides handling the ordinary dirt excavation, scrapers find many other applications, such as trimming banks, as these HD-14s and Garwood scrapers are doing on this Texas highway job. The versatility of scrapers of this type has made them invaluable for they handle the excavation as well as the ordinary backsloping. Big loads in less distance and in less time increase yardage and cut its cost at the same time. A full load is pushed into the scraper without undue strain on the equipment, reducing wear and breakage and excessive maintenance expense. On average hauls of 1,000 feet, one fast pusher tractor can generally handle three 20-yard outfits without delay in the cut. Once the load has been obtained, power and speed in the tractor are essential to haul at top speed and make more trips per hour. Sufficient power on the fill means less time lost due to shifting to a lower gear in order to obtain sufficient power to dump the scraper. On many jobs, the pusher tractor does triple duty. It is equipped with a bulldozer, which is used as the pusher during loading operations. If the material is hard and rocky, a ripper is attached to the drawbar to rip up the material preparatory to loading. In addition, the ripper can be easily detached and the tractor can be employed as a regular bulldozer wherever needed. On many jobs, a two-wheel scraper of this type is employed. Of particular advantage is its ability to dump backwards, over shoulders, around culverts, bridge abutments, and so forth. Matched with an HD-14, this type of scraper finds many applications on earth-moving jobs of all kinds. On the fill, large tractors, in addition to bulldozing, generally pull sheep's foot rollers or tampers, both single or multiple section. The nature of the fill determines the equipment to be used. A single heavy roller or multiple section of slightly lighter weight. But in either case, fast tractors with plenty of power on the turns and straightaway are essential. In addition to normal earth moving duties, Large size tractors are invaluable for all sorts of hauling jobs under all sorts of conditions. Today, contractors operate under extreme weather and ground conditions that years ago were thought impossible. All because of sure-footed tractor power that's built to take it. Bulldozing on present day construction projects is becoming increasingly important as a means of moving earth short distances, leveling, grading, cleaning up, roughing out, feeding shovels, and many other operations. Even unusually tough jobs are now turned over to bulldozers. This HD-14 tractor is operating in gritty mud and water, yet gives a good account of itself because it is effectively sealed and sturdily constructed. Track rollers in these new tractors require lubrication only once every 200 hours. On many other jobs, slightly smaller bulldozers are employed such as this 86 horsepower model HD-10 and Baker bulldozer. Here it is leveling and grading on a large North Carolina highway project. This two-cycle diesel tractor is extremely popular for this type of work because of its power, speed, ease of control, and maneuverability. This HD-10 equipped with Garwood dozer is stripping overburden at one of the huge TVA dam projects and fills in as a pusher for some of the rubber-tired hauling units. Scrapers in the two and four wheel types are also made as companion units for these tractors. This HD-10 and Garwood eight-yard scraper are loading tough shale and rock on a Pennsylvania highway job. The tractor also doubles in the role of a bulldozer when necessary. The HD-10 loads in second speed and hauls in high. Grading is always an important factor in completing a job accurately. The same HD-10 tractor can be hitched to a 10 or 12 foot grader and its speed and power handle the tough going easily. This Alice Chalmers grader is of the leaning frame type. It is power controlled and has many operating advantages and economies over the old style rigid frame types. 
even newer than the leaning frame pull type grader is this new heavy duty model AD motor grader. It's built to handle heavy bank cuts, heavy grading and construction. Contractors everywhere are using machines of this type because of their all around usefulness on any job they tackle. This big powerful motor grader represents the latest in design in this class of equipment. Extra high clearance under the front axle and between the cutting edge and circle permit larger, higher windrows to be straddled and handled without hanging up in the circle. From start to finish, these machines are found invaluable. Here, with blade extended, the AD motor grader illustrates a fast, smooth finishing job, accurate to blue tops. Every job has its miscellaneous problems, clearing out right-of-ways, rooting out stumps, and so forth. For this type of work, tractors of the HD7 60 horsepower size are frequently employed. There are many other jobs these tractors can handle efficiently, such as pulling three to five yard scrapers for small scale road or excavation jobs where their speed and ease of handling make them ideally suited for such service. Today, the country is alive with projects. Airports, highways, dams, canals and buildings extending to all of us the comforts and conveniences which have made our lives fuller, richer, and more productive than ever. But no matter what the project may be, the modern contractor is solving his present-day problems with modern methods and equipment.